Hey guys, Carnifex, another nerd this video. Today, we're gonna go over the big ol' update that is coming. So it's already been pushed to the store, just waiting on approval and all that jazz, and we'll be able to download it. I'm excited, not only because we get to talk about these things and the impact, but also because this build already exists on the development accounts that we have. So I'm not just gonna talk about some of the stuff and be able to actually show you it right now. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Come on, Carnifex, this doesn't need to be a 30 minute video, right? So. I'm going in first you can just see some kind of the aesthetics that normal screen has been changed you got this more snowy action going on um, And if you were to try and like load into something like arena here now that loading screen has a little uh, ball on it You'll see it some more as we go don't want to put a ton of time into that So there's a new we there you mentioned right the new legendary event. It's gonna be a 330 shard This is not talking about hey Solis is coming back on January 1st. There is a brand new has never happened yet Legendary event coming out later in January that is going to be announced on December 24th. They're confirming this again If you haven't watched my video already, I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on a little thingy Right Watch my video about who I think it'll be why I think it'll be a short version If you're not paying attention to your humans and pandas, I think you're doing it wrong right now If you really want to have a shot at this 330 shard unlock um, So next Changing payout. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this right now. If you've done other games, you probably have essentially know where to find it. Basically, go to settings, extra, extras, time settings, and right in here, it shows you even right now where you're at. Hey, if I want to move it up once, move it down once, stuff like that. Um, it'll show you. Hey, and if you click on this, right, it changes. It's like AM, PM. Um, but you're able to do this. Um, uh, it refreshes once every 360 days. So you're not gonna be able to do this regularly. Do this, do not plan on like doing this semi-regularly. Do this, figure out what payout you wanna be in. If right now your payout has you like in work, change it to be a little later. Um, if your payout right now has you so that, uh, you know, just whatever, right? If you wanna change it so when your free energy and the shop refreshes come around, you know, all those different things, you can change that. So. Anywho, that's fantastic and all the people on my shard are pumped about that. So that's how you will go to do that. So next we have a new tournament shop. So I'm gonna scroll over here, boom, going over to the shop. Uh, I just did some of the Solius events to show you something later, one of the things, but right here, tournament shop. You can see in here, we got Bori in here right now. I have seen uh, the other people in there. I did it just to confirm. You got Wonder Lula and Phalia in there. And you have additional gear. You got Bay's Life Essence. Oh my gosh. Like uh, other great stuff in there. And you can, if you really want, you can get gold. I feel like it'll probably never be worth it to get that and not some of the gear there. But hey, you at least have the option if you want it, right? That's awesome. Also, Star Shop. Wonder Lula's in there. So in addition to her being available in that new tournament shop, she's also available here. So if you're a whale, this is definitely where you want to put in stuff. Be careful because you also are going to get some better gear. You got Martyr here right now. We didn't have that before. But if you're more of like a whale and you kind of want to get things quickly, right? You want to work on getting bored. You want to more focus on that. And you have something silly like 10, 20,000, you know, stars saved up. Go ahead and get your Wendalula here because you've already finished Hard Orc if you're that high. Um, and you can focus more on getting Bori here, Phalia, those types of characters. Um, those types. That's the only other two. That's the only other two in there. There's three characters in there. Um, so anyway, like I said, uh, Wonder Lula now rotates. So it's not every other. It's randomized uh, just like everything else in these shops. Right? It's randomized. So you might get Wonder Lula four times a day. You might get Harder four times a day. They might rotate. You know, whatever. Um, uh, so we got that. We have... New, uh, so there's updates to the nodes. If we go right now, I'm gonna show you two things and I'm sure both, one of them is particularly gonna make people pumped, but other things will too. So we're gonna look right here. What is this? Is that, is that Curse Madness on a hard mode node? I know it's just on hard mode nodes and we're gonna be capped on running those, but anywho, there's some hard mode nodes with some bonus gear on it that was not available there. Now we've got um, uh, Dragon Veil there. It's fantastic. Also, here is Yogi's uh, node where he's going to be at. He only gets one node, so kind of like Cruel, and it is uh, even significantly farther along than Cruel's. There's a lot of people who won't have this unlocked, but it is at least somewhat, you know, uh, free-to-play accessible when you get there. Uh, it's not like you have to only get them from tournament shops where it's hard to place higher if you're not um, putting some money in or you haven't been around since the beta. But um, anyway, so... New, new, new shard update or new, uh, new node updates. Um, we also have um, 
Hilda in the tower shop. And I even made sure to have her on there so I could just show you. Look, right here, we got Hilda. Right there in the tower shop. Um, uh, she is also, I'm going to go ahead and show you, the Christmas event character. So we're going to have a Hilda unlock event. As you can see at the end, it only goes to uh, hero level 60, uh, gear level 8. This is not a hard one. This is like what we had with Diesel Rock and everything. So if you're if you've been playing for at least a month, you're gonna be able to get all these shards for Hilda and unlock her as soon as this event comes along. Um, which again, in case you didn't see that, is seven and change days from me right now. Um, at what is about almost uh, 3 p.m. UTC. So. Uh, that's coming up. That's fantastic. Um, and who, who doesn't like free shards for easy, for easy work, right? So we are also going to get, uh, level 70 to 74 and then 75 to 80 tournament brackets. Uh, it doesn't help me, <laughs> you know, I'm about to hit 78. I'm just like, man, I'm going to be behind this wave every single time. I stalled for a little bit to do well in the Wonder Lula, Lula tourney. So I wouldn't be in the big shard, all the big dog shard uh, bracket. Um, so now again, uh, you know, by the time they make this change, I'm already out of the next one because I shot out of there. I was ready to get back up. Um, so they're going to have that. That'll be great for those of you coming up behind me. For the rest of us, you know, it just kind of is what it is. Um, it doesn't hurt us to be farther along than other people. Um, so uh, less, and, and also with tournament, you got less points lost for losing tournament fights. Now, for some people that they may not understand, hey, what's the value of that? I don't know. Um, so. Uh, you know, I have no idea what 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 guilds are kind of uh, known for doing this, but basically sometimes you end up with a couple people at the top who don't seem to be working as hard at knocking down each other. Um, and so what this does is this means that you can climb faster than someone can knock you down. Now, obviously, two people doing that is that's bigger numbers, right? Um, but it at least does something to help other people from knocking you down. You're still going to be able to make some progress, even if you and another guy exchange significantly more than what you were able to before. So you're only going to lose 12 points and a loss. And they also fix a lot of sync errors in the tourneys. I know people were really pissed about that. They were losing points. They were losing tickets. It was really frustrating. So I'm glad that they worked on fixing that. Uh, gear search improvements, basically you're going to be able to find gear more easily whenever you search for it in a, in a character's menu. Um, it's, hard, it's, it's honestly hard for me to show here because I have all the gear, um, but just needless to say, it'll be easier to find. Um, so gladiators, now thankfully this is even in the daily quest for today. So what a convenient, look, the little, little ornament again. So right here you can see in the text, take part in arena battles. It's no longer based on wins. Really kind for them to do that. Ooh. Someone's trying to hop on my. Someone's trying to hop on the stream, guys. Um, <laughs> so uh, we got that. Uh, we changed. Uh, they changed the energy refreshes. Basically, if you made purchases for a while, they were like, "Hey, no ad, right? You just get the full 120." But the problem was, it was lim you had to get it in that hour and 20 minutes. Whereas before, you'd get the ad. You could watch the ad and get energy anytime in that six-hour window. Well, now they've changed it to where even if you miss that initial. Um, that initial two hour window where you get the 60 energy, that second 60 energy is still gonna be available to you through the rest of that six hour window, um, which is when like the shop resets and all that stuff. So you know when that is. Next, you'll be able to replay story battles after you've completed them. And that's what I was kind of prepping before going to here. So now whenever I go into the Solis event, I'm gonna be doing some videos. I'm trying to do now some kind of like minimum requirements for like seven star unlocks. Um, you'll probably some information for five stars is most focused on, hey, what, what's the minimum requirement for seven star unlock? Uh, but as you can see, you can go in here and you can repeat the fight. So that was not possible before. Now, just if you just were trying to burn through it, get your character, but you're like, hey, you know, I got a couple more days of this event. What was going on story-wise here? Um, if we want to check other compositions to try and help out buddies who are a little lower level, something like that, try and give them some kind of ideas. I think it's mostly for story. Um, but anyway, so um, the other big stuff is we got a major tenacity slash resistance buff. Um, things that n before did not have a potency tenacity check now do. So turn meter being reduced 
it just happened. If the if the if if the if the chance happened, or if the the circumstances right, there's already slow on the character. The the character who's attacking uh, gets a critical hit. It does it. There's no check for it. It just happened. Your potency didn't matter. Now it's going to matter. Cooldown increases now resistible. So major shot, right? His leadership can now be resisted. Um, dispel buffs is now resistible. So Ember, Nightiel, etc. Putting buffs on enemies now resistible. That's like Cruel putting invisibility on Tromgar. That's Puncherface putting taunt on everybody, right? Now resistible. I'm going to make another video about who the winners and losers are over this. And there's going to be some really big surprises. There are going to be some characters that uh, you might be kind of worried about that actually they're going to be okay. And I'll go into all that in that video. In fact, you know what? Watch it over here. Watch it over here. There's going to be a thing there now. I just came up with that. Um, so, a uh, bug where the heroes could gain Tremere with the day's debuff, they weren't supposed to, supposed to be able to do that. that. was one of the things Dave was supposed to do. No counters, no turn meter gain. Um, this was a big one. Rune words, uh, the damage rune word, which is a set, now gives 15% damage increase instead of 20%. If you watch any of my um, my ruining videos, you know that damage has been the big dog for a while. So here's what changes now, right? Damage is not ner nerfed. Damage is not nerfed. That set is not nerfed. Um, in order for them really to make people want to use crit damage, they're going to have to increase the crit damage buff because they really shouldn't decrease the damage uh, set bonus anymore. They should increase the crit damage bonus and the reason for that is right now basically if you have a uh, a crit damage primary in your south rune then once you hit 75 percent crit chance you would be better off having a crit damage set than a damage set but that's like where it starts to break even still even if you have a 100 percent crit chance and you have and it's important that i'm adding and you have the south crit damage primary which adds that extra 20 something percent depending on, you know, what, what are the one, two, three stars we have right now, right? Um, even at 100% crit chance, it's still only giving you 3% more damage with a crit damage set than a damage set. So don't freak out. Don't think your damage sets are now totally worthless. You do get more out of crit damage, and the spikiness is helpful. Um, getting that spiky damage is really helpful in PvP. I almost the other day... On my climb, had a 90L one-shot my five-star gear 11 Stolius because it went under the... Um, it was complete, full shields, full health, almost shot completely under that because it was a crit. Having high crits can make crap like that happen, so spikiness is good. All right, we also had some minor changes. Basically, uh, if you are if you use Cruel and you ca and you have Amara on your team and you copy an Amara, it, those, uh, those passive actually doubled. Just, so, no. Um... Uh, sharp. Uh, so this was a bug fix, and it is a, it's a nerf, but it was a bug fix. Um, this was something that the devs have known about for a little while, um, but they weren't able to fix in time for the, the Ember event. So lucky for those of us, I guess, who got Ember the first time around to seven stars, but everyone else is coming around. It's going to have additional elves that we didn't have. So uh, it, all, it all balances out. But basically, Sharp is now only going to apply that crit chance buff, which was the original intention. So if we go in here, right, we look at, where is that boy? I'm going to find him. Okay, we go in here, right, if you look at the text, it says that gains crit chance increase and applies it to all allies, and then sharp green gains crit damage before he was giving everyone crit damage and he wasn't supposed to, so they have changed that. Now sharp, don't, again, your, your sharp isn't trashed. He's not going to be as useful in Arena, obviously, where he was kind of useful for a while there as people have built him up for uh, events, but any hue. Um, uh, you've got, and then we have these three new characters. Phalia, I'm going to go ahead and pull them up real quick. Right. So we have Phalia right here, right? And, uh, and she's got a few moves here. I'm going to do a character-specific video for each one of these three characters so you kind of know what I think they're going to be good for, if they're good at all, all that kind of yada yada. Here's Yogi. He changed... One of the, It's kind of a fun thing. He changes colors as he sits in here. So right now he's kind of like this purplish red. And then in a second here, he's going to change. He's becoming more orangish. 
more greeny, so you can it, you can kind of see it's pretty slow, like a chameleon, right? I call it he's a chameleon. All right, so we got him, and then Hilda, Hilda, Hildy, Hilda, right? So the big question is going to be, what, who's who's now the superior tank? Is it Kinley or is it Hilda? I will answer that question in her character um, uh, character spotlight video. Uh, but anyway, so that's what we got, guys. That and some other, you know, just kind of random bug fixes. But I hope you've gotten a lot out of watching this video. I hope that seeing some of these things helps you find it. You know, like how to change your shard um, time and uh, uh, so your payout time for your arena. So I hope this is all helpful to you. And uh, keep watching videos. I love doing it. Um, like and subscribe. I'm not like a huge plugger, but the main thing is I'm not able to share any posts. Like just kind of like text posts until I hit a thousand subs. So. That's the new target because I want to just be able to share things, whether it's um, whether it's something I've done, like hey, I randomly got Ember, you know, six hours before the or seven star Ember six hours before the uh, the event ended. I want to just be able to put that out there so you guys can see it without making you watch a video or having to go through the effort of like creating a video somehow for, to show that. So, um, anywho, if you like this stuff, like, share, subscribe, appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time.